Go, go, go. Go! Go! Let's wait, boys. Now look at you, Dan. You're mad. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Hello, big boy. Okay, so hi, guys. We're here um, about to take young George and Yame for an afternoon stroll in the park. I won't sigh if my dreams are only dreams and it may not be the drawing that I drew. I couldn't think of two better lines than to go for a walk with. George and Yame come from Spain. They are also known as the Spanish Rescues. They were actually rescued from a cub petting place in Spain called Terra Mitica. It was almost like a theme park where people could uh, people can go and go on all sorts of other rides and entertainment um, and lo and behold there were two lion cubs there too. Uh, these two cubs were uh, significantly malnutritioned um, and partly the reason for that was to keep them small and cuddly so that um, people could, well, so that the people could prolong the event of, of George and Yummy being used for that practice and people would pay about 10 euros or something like that to um, hold and pet George and Yami and somebody actually reported it and found out about it and cut a long story short, the campaign against canned lion hunting got involved and ultimately I got contacted and asked if I would take them on. Here's a very good example of George's badly deformed on legs. That is the result of malnutrition at a very young age, a couple of months of age. Come on, come on, yummy. Come on, boy. You can see yummy. And look at the condition he is. He didn't fare too badly when it came to the nutritional defects. In fact, he's a, a beautiful specimen. And what he's doing is marking his territory. You can see he's rubbing on the bushes like a male lion would do at that age. Uh, coming into sexual maturity, using all his cheek glands to rub his scent everywhere and obviously scent marking with urine too. You'll notice on the back of the legs that they're not black. So just on the on the back, just below his nuts, you'll see on other lines that are very actively uh, sexually mature and marking a lot, you will see that that gets blackened. And George actually hasn't started to mark at all. Um, he hasn't quite, he's quite a few months behind um, with Yame. We need to get them into the habit of, into this walking uh, mode. Away. Oh, let's run away and not know where we are going to. Let's go oh. far today. Should we get going eventually? Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> You're a mad thing. I know that. Yes, you are. Sorry. Yes. Okay, no, 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 no. no. Let's not lie down here. Yeah? Let's go, come, 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 come. Let's go, come, 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 come. Let's go. This is the most dangerous age to work with lions. So everyone looks at the big lions and says, oh, those must be so dangerous. No, no, no. Here's the most dangerous lions you're working with. Because they are strong, they're big, they're cocky, they're confident. And they'll try, they'll try, they'll try their luck. Sure, one more question. I love questions. How did you pick their names? That's a good question. Yeah, with George and Yami. So originally George and Yame's names were Cash and Spain. Cash for campaign against canned hunting. And Spain because he <laughs> comes from Spain. Um, and those are the, the names that their foster parents <laughs> gave them. And then there was a, a competition 
uh, to raise money. It wasn't a competition, it was a kind of like an online thing that was run by our friends in Australia from the Painted Dog Conservation Incorporated. And what the prize really was for the person who raised the most money or donated the most money, and then the second person would be able to give the names. And so the two people um, came up with the names, George after George Adamson, uh, was named by one individual, I can't remember who it was, sorry, forgive me. And the other was Yame for Ngonyama, which means lion. Hey, George. In what language? Kosa. There we go. So Ngonyama in Kosa means lion, and we can't go around calling him Ngonyama, Ngonyama, <laughs> because it would just be crazy. So he got shortened to Yame. If you did enjoy that video, please do share it uh, with a million of your closest friends. Um, if you subscribe to Live Whisper TV, thank you. If not, why not? <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, uh, continue to follow us because there's obviously more great videos coming. Georgie, say goodbye. No, don't steal the camera. <laughs> say goodbye. George is a camera thief. <laughs> Just say goodbye to everyone out there. Yummy. Yeah,